A Kiss in the Tunnel is a British film that was released in 1899. The title pretty much says it all. <laughs> there is a couple on a train and they share a kiss. <laughs> it's a minute, minute and a half long. And this was actually remade the same year by another company. And um, the original was made by George Albert Smith and it stars Laura Bailey, who went on to become a famous actress and filmmaker. Um, this one has been remade in several other ways as well, um, like Edwin S. Porter made it and that sort of thing. Now, I do have to gripe about this in a sense because I was reading some reviews and there was a review by uh, a film historian, Michael Brook, who said that the lighting is totally unrealistic. We can see everything that's going on. There's no attempt at realism in the setting. Um, the carriage that they're in, so their cabin, is obviously painted flat that has been decorated with various props, luggage, parasols, and so on, though the camera has been made to sway from side to side to create illusion of movement. Okay, I'm going to tell him what a lot of people say to me. Where do you get off calling yourself a historian when you're saying stuff like this? Okay, they're not in an actual train. <laughs> and in this they've done really well look I've, I've said before how i went to film school but we were actually trained to take two dollars and make it look like and stretch it to look like three hundred dollars in our photography and that's what they did okay i don't i don't understand where you're getting off saying to these are this is what happens when you live in a cgi filled world and you expect somebody from 1899 to pump that out. Okay. Yes. The the thing is but because they're in a tunnel. The windows are black because they're supposed to be in a tunnel. <laughs> I couldn't believe that he said that. I I just I I and and even the remake is it's just a, a cute fun little Thing where these two this these two people are in a tunnel and they share a bit of romance i can't believe you're going off so hard on this <laughs> it's obvious that they're in the studio at the beginning they film a train coming out of a tunnel and and then it goes to the studio it's not that deep sir <laughs> because of the fact that with my photographer background and everything i'm i'm gonna do this because that is just insane now with the remakes that went on uh, i did watch them and when when you watch them it has where people are looking out the window and it's going and I almost get the feeling that he has it in his head that they're a little bit better, but not quite. Okay, um, you know how in like the Tom and Jerry cartoons where you see the repetitive backgrounds? Okay, in silent film, they actually had these apparatuses. I think you see it singing in the rain, where they had these apparatuses that had a background that would go around and around and around. That's what's going on. I watched. Okay, in one of them, you see the trees and they do repeat. Sir, what, what is, <laughs> I, I cannot believe that he went so hard on these and said that there's no realism. Obviously you need to watch the 1880, I mean, 1898 Santa Claus. Maybe that'll set you off too.
These are just fun little shorts for people. They're not CGI film. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so in one of them, you obviously see the trees repeat. Um, the other one, the cityscape didn't repeat. But um, it's obvious that it is one of those apparatuses. I'm surprised that he... Maybe he does know about it, but it... <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have to defend the Victorians on this and the Victorian filmmaking on this. Especially with what I know and what I was trained is that you take $2 and you stretch it to make it look like $300. There were times where some of the outfits that my models wore was just a thrift store outfit, but it looked like something that the Queen would wear. <laughs> my gosh. So, you know, when I read that, all respect to Michael Brook and, and his work, but I have a real problem with someone when we're living in a CGI world and, and they attack the work that, that people in the Victorian era did. Okay, that's where I'm coming from because they worked with what they had. The lighting is just fine. They're going through a tunnel. They're not in an actual... <laughs> They're not in an actual train. The The background and everything looks fine. And when it comes to the other ones, I will put them in the description box for you. And um, with the other remakes and everything, they're called Love in a Train. That was released in 1902. Edwin S. Porter's is what happened in the tunnel. That was in 1903. It's obvious that the landscape outside is repeating. And so because of those apparatuses. And so I'm surprised that he went so hard on on, the, on these people. The background looks just fine. But anyway, um, I had to say that because I was surprised when I read that by Michael Brook. Again, um, all respect to his work and what he does. But given my training and what I do, I had to say something. <laughs> this is just a fun little short comedy. <laughs> And he said that. So I will defend the Victorians there. So anyway, um, I will have those short films. You can decide if I'm just out of my mind uh, <laughs> in defending this. But uh, this is A Kiss of the Tunnel. It was released in 1899. It is a British short film.